I just pulled up to the grocery store. I'm gonna get groceries for the weekend. I'm gonna show you what I'm purchasing and the meals that we're making in hopes of giving some ideas. But we are also gonna spill the tea because it is time to tell you what has actually been going on in my household for the last month and a half. I am starting out in our local traditional supermarket Reesers. And if you have just a regular run of the mill supermarket that runs weekly sales and you are not taking advantage of those sales, you might be missing out on some really great deals, especially as people are really aware of how much groceries are costing. Make sure you're checking out your sales flyers, okay? Because some of the best deals are on the front page here. And that's actually one of the reasons why I'm in here today. I can actually smell these cantaloupes. They smell so delicious. Some of you might have already picked up on this fact if you have been listening to some of my videos carefully, but about a month ago, you heard me say that we came home from our trip early. We came home from a three week trip that we had had planned for a year, 10 days early. So basically halfway through. Go ahead and come in on Sunday too. Because of uh, some work stuff that came up for my husband. What happened was we got a phone call from some of the leadership at the church. Did you see the memo about this? That made us feel like we needed to come home and deal with this immediately because that's what leaders do. We deal with stuff in person, we face it. That's just a straight shooter with upper management written all over him. Ultimately, to make a very, very, very long, painful story <laughs> short, Terrific. there were some organizational changes coming down the pike that my husband and I decided we weren't really on board with. I'm gonna have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. We felt very strongly like it was time for us to look for a gracious exit, and my husband ultimately decided to resign from his position at our church. Uh normally a little Debbie's person as opposed to the to a hostess snack cake person which one are you do you have like a snack cake preference if you are a person who eats those things but I will say that I do like these little mini pies from hostess they're on sale for three bucks a box for a box of 12 so I'm gonna get some when you work in the ministry sometimes your entire life can be wrapped up or at least centered around that thing how much time would you say you spend each week dealing with these TPS reports not just the place where you work, but the place where you worship, your relationships, your friendships, your social life. So to say that this has been difficult is an understatement, especially considering that my husband has really done a good job, a fantastic job of helping this particular place navigate some really hard situations over the past several years. But as we are called to do as Christians, we prayed about it. We asked other people to pray about it for us. And once we made the decision that we felt we were being led to, we have continued to receive affirmation that it's the right one, even though it's difficult, even though it's painful for our family. If there is a discount bakery rack in a grocery store that I find myself in, you know I'm gonna find it. <laughs> I'm going to smell that out. This behind me is actually one of the deals I'm in here to pick up today. It's buy two, get one free, 12 packs of soda. And here's a little grocery budgeting tip if you are not already doing this. Things like soda and also alcohol like beer or wine are actually part of a different budget. They come out of our recreation budget, which is the same budget we use to like go out to eat, go out to dinner, if we're like doing concerts or athletic events or something where we have to purchase tickets, that's where that stuff comes out of. And one of the reasons is because obviously, you know, soda is just, you know, it's not a, it's not a necessity. It is a treat. And there have been times when we have had zero dollars in that particular line item in our budget. And we've had to get creative if we wanted to have those little treats. So if you find those kinds of things eating up your grocery budget, you could even take it a little further, maybe even into snacks or ice cream or treats or something, move them to a different part of your budget and then challenge yourself to um, you know, use a side hustle or maybe get some gift cards through rebate apps as you accrue points to pay for those kinds of um, things that aren't necessities. Actually, one of the reasons I'm even out grocery shopping on a Friday when normally we'd be rolling into the weekend to like eat leftovers and maybe order a pizza is because we have people coming into town it's a big weekend and the church is giving a reception for my husband to honor all the work that he's done the last five years. So people are coming to stay with us. Plus 
it's Ruthie's birthday weekend, so um, I'm gonna share with you, you know, what's on the menu as well as what I'm purchasing. One of the first things that we did when we realized what was happening with my husband's job was meet with our financial planner because when you are going through these kinds of big life altering events, I think it's really important to approach them with intentionality. We wanna make sure that our kid's future is safe and secure, which is why I think it is very appropriate that Fabric by Gerber Life is partnering with me to bring you today's video. Fabric can connect you with lots of important financial tools for your family, like free online wills, access to college savings funds, and maybe most importantly, affordable term life insurance. I know it's hard to think about. It's not something any of us want to think about what our families would do if we suddenly were not here to care for them. But it's a scenario that if we have a family, we should feel an obligation to address, to make sure that even if we aren't here, our families are taken care of. And it provides some peace of mind for us as well to know that even if the unthinkable happens, our family has some protection and security. There is no risk to apply. And in fact, you can get a personalized quote in as little as 10 minutes and then go back later and apply when it's convenient for you. Plus it's all online. So you could go from start to covered in as little as 10 minutes. And in some cases without even a medical exam, I'm looking at some of the questions in the online application here for life insurance. No, sir. I actually do not intend to do any base jumping, hang gliding or skydiving. <laughs> in the next year. <laughs> That's a negative for this mom. Fabric has a 4.8 out of five star rating on Trustpilot. And that is a website that I use to vet companies like this all the time. Plus on that website, you can read over 1800 reviews from actual Fabric users. And Fabric is now partnered with Gerber Life, which is a company that has served and been trusted by millions of families for over 50 years. Fabric was designed by parents for parents to help connect families with affordable term life insurance in as little as 10 minutes. Join the thousands of parents that trust Fabric to help protect their family. You can apply today in just minutes when you go to meetfabric.com slash cmindymom. Again, that's meetfabric.com slash cmindymom. The link is in the description box below. It's m-e-e-t fabric.com slash cmindymom. And thank you again to Fabric by Gerber Life for sponsoring today's video. I actually debated whether or not to even share this with you guys because obviously it's very personal, right? But one of my core values for my my channel is realistic, being real, sharing real life. And what is more real than one of the top five most stressful life events, job loss. And I realize that it's not quite the same as getting fired or getting laid off because we're walking away of our own volition. It still is kind of scary, you know, stepping out and not having that same security and having it come as kind of a surprise. And I'm pretty sure that there are thousands of people out there, maybe even a few people who are watching this right now that are walking through the same thing. And I just want them to know that you're not alone. Okay. I'm looking for a half inch binder for Ruthie for music class at school. And apparently that is not a size that they carry here in the very picked over school supply section. But can you believe that they have brought trapper keepers back? Wow. I mean, that is some nostalgia for this 80s baby right here. Pretty sure my older sister had this one. I mean, seriously, like I, I don't even think they made any new designs. They just got into the vault and got the old 80s and 90s designs out and put them out again. Four inch, two inch, three inch, one and a half inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. Wait a second, wait a second. Oh, wait, is that a half inch? Yes, it is. Okay, they have one white one too, way up here. I think that's a half inch binder. I don't know, it looks like a half inch binder to me. I think we'll go with that. Oh yes, there it is. I'm standing here staring at the cake mixes, trying to figure out what kind of cupcakes I want to make for Ruthie for her birthday. I decided to go with strawberry in my go-to cupcake recipe. One box of cake mix, one box of pudding mix, four eggs, one cup of oil. Yes, you heard that right, one cup of oil, one cup or an eight ounce container of sour cream and then half a cup of milk. And you mix it all up, you bake up the cupcakes. I'm telling you, they are super delicious and moist every time. Versatile, you can do it with different flavors of cake mix and pudding, mix and match. I've done orange cupcakes, I've done chocolate cupcakes, I've done strawberry lemonade cupcakes with a strawberry cake mix and a lemon pudding mix. I'm telling you, best cake recipe ever. 
And then to ice the cupcakes, I know I've shared this before, but what I typically do is go over to the bakery and I ask them to give me a pound of buttercream icing, just plain white buttercream icing in a piping bag. It's usually about four bucks. I think this time they only charged me $3, $2.98 for a pound of buttercream icing. And then I can just cut the tip off of that piping bag and pipe that icing directly onto the cupcakes. So easy. I was just talking about these suckers in an Aldi video that I made. The caramel apple suckers. I remember these coming out like when I was in elementary school and being all the rage. I don't know that this is the exact same kind. These are made by Tootsie, by Tootsie Roll, but this is what I was talking about in that Aldi video if you've already seen that. When I retire from YouTube, I'm gonna be a Walmart greeter. I mean, I think I would be really good at that, don't you think? I mean, when I smile at babies, they laugh. When I smile at old people, they smile back. I think that's gonna be what I do after YouTube. Store number one was my regular local grocery store that I take you inside. Mostly for loss leaders and items that were a great price with store coupons. Starting with these two cantaloupes, which were only $1.47 after the store coupon. Plus they had red grapes on sale for 99 cents a pound. A pound of organic carrots was only 88 cents and the red peppers were a fantastic price as well. I think they were 98 cents a piece. So I picked up four of those. The Barilla pastas, I always want to say Berea. <laughs> it's Barilla were on sale. Uh, they weren't on sale. There was a coupon that made them under a dollar a box and Ruthie would like Alfredo for her birthday. So I picked this up for Alfredo. These croissants came from the discount rack and they were under $2 for four of them. My girls, Ruthie and McKenna really, really love croissants. The cheeses and the cereals were part of a buy five, save five. And we're big fans of Honey Bunches of Oats and it included the special ones, the flavored ones. So I got vanilla and cinnamon as well as the regular honey roasted Honey Bunches of Oats. And I don't normally buy shredded cheese but I do really like this craft with Philadelphia so I went ahead and picked up a couple bags of that kind of as a special treat showed you guys the fruit pies not gonna lie impulse buy we'll have those out as treats this weekend the frozen pizzas were under $3, I think $2.97 with a store coupon. And we actually use these from time to time. Ruthie made one the other night, sliced it up and put it in the fridge so she could pack it in her lunch this week because we were running low on lunch stuff. And the Doritos were on sale. I think it was $2.49 when you bought two bags and we're gonna be having sandwiches some this weekend. Not pictured, three cases of diet soda. Cue all the snarky comments about how horrible diet soda is. I'm just gonna go through my Walmart haul while I unload it here so we can get it put away. Got some yogurts, a four pack of the cheesecake, and then these um, apple pie ones that my kids really like. They're both the Dan and Light and Fit. Got four of these all together. A pint of heavy whipping cream and two pounds of butter. One small container of sour cream for the cake that I mentioned. Some Caesar dressing. I really like the ranch from Lighthouse. I've not tried the Caesar yet. Let me know if you have. I assume it's gonna be just as good as the ranches. Some chorizo plus a couple of different kinds of cheeses that I'm gonna use to make white queso. I'll show you how I'm doing that here in a bit. Some Little Smokies, and I picked up some crescent rolls because I'm wondering if I can convince my children to make little pigs in a blanket as sort of a game day snack for this weekend while we're watching football. Two blocks of cheddar cheese and some crackers to go with them. Two containers of this Bella Rosa Parmesan. One of you put me onto this because this doesn't have any anti-caking agents, so it still melts pretty well and it's already grated. And when I looked at the price per ounce of the block of parm that Walmart had available to me and then this that is already shredded, it was only a couple of cents more per ounce, so I took the shortcut. I already talked about the bakery icing, right? A dozen of these Hawaiian rolls from the bakery because we're gonna do sliders one night plus two loaves of French bread for Ruthie's birthday dinner. Produce, I picked up some Romaine hearts, some potatoes, some bananas and apples. Also picked up a veggie tray for snacking. Canned goods, I needed to restock the tomatoes so I got some petite diced tomatoes and fire roasted tomatoes. I also picked up a few cans of chicken noodle soup for the pantry, plus two cans of evaporated milk. Again, you'll see what I'm doing with that. I keep forgetting and I finally remembered to get some stainless steel wool, some steel wool, yeah. Stainless steel scrubbers. One of the things I use these most frequently for is cleaning those Yeti coffee mugs that my husband and I use because they get coffee stains in them. You just use one of these and maybe a little bit of Comet or Barkeeper's Friend, scrub it out, and then just wash it like normal with like dish soap or put it through the washer and it's good as new. And I finally remembered to pick up a new broom. So new broom for inside. The former inside broom goes outside and becomes the porch broom. Let me know, I'm not the only person who does that. Two kinds of chips, tortilla, 
and wavy potato chips so that I can make chip dip because that's what I want. Stuff for Ruthie's cake, a strawberry cake mix, and a strawberry pudding mix in the instant, instant pudding mix. Uh, we're out of cocoa, so I just, I don't have an immediate use for this. It's just one of those like baking goods that I want to keep stocked. So I remembered while I was standing there in the baking aisle, yay me. I also picked up a gallon of milk and about three pounds of chicken breast because Ruthie wants chicken Alfredo for her birthday dinner. So I'll go over that when I talk about the meal plan for this weekend. I also ran into Sally Beauty really quickly to get Ruthie a straightener for her birthday. She keeps taking mine from my bathroom and I keep running all over the house looking for it. So I figured it's time for her to have her own. And I was looking for one that wasn't super duper expensive but also not really cheap. And the girl in the store recommended this one. The, is it Babeless, ba Babyless? Pro Titanium. This is a two inch flat iron. So it's a little bit like wider than the standard ones. And the girl recommended this one because she also has thick wavy hair like Ruthie. So I'm gonna wrap this up for Ruthie's birthday. So the meal plan for the weekend. Tonight, my husband is grilling steaks, shrimp, chicken, all from Good Shop. They have been a sponsor in the past. They're sponsoring several videos this fall, which I am very grateful for because that's one of the ways that I earn an income for my family. And I think to go along with that, I'm gonna keep it really simple. I'm just gonna throw throw some baked potatoes in the oven, maybe rummage through the freezer for some veggies, maybe some green beans or broccoli or something that I can steam up. And yesterday I made clover leaf rolls from Rhodes Rolls that I pulled out of the freezer. So we're gonna have those. Tomorrow we have a soccer game, but not till the evening. So during the day, I think we're gonna do like snacky things. I'm gonna make some white queso with pepper jack cheese, American cheese, and the evaporated milk. I'll leave that recipe linked in the description box below and I'm gonna add some chorizo as well and I'm hoping to get out just some snacky things cheese and crackers with the queso maybe that veggie tray that I purchased and just kind of have like snacks that people can graze on while we're watching football and just kind of lounging around in the evening we've got that soccer game so I'm gonna get a pork shoulder one of those seasoned pork shoulders from Aldi going in the crock pot and I got some rolls so that we can turn those into sliders if we want and then just have like some chips and some fruit for a really easy dinner after we get home from the soccer game because it'll be right around dinner time then. Sunday is a big day and a busy day. We are going back to the church one last time for that reception for my husband. And then we are going to celebrate my oldest daughter's birthday in the evening. She is turning 14. I cannot believe that my Ruthie Roo is going to be 14 years old. My parents are coming into town Sunday. My husband's parents are going to be here any minute. So we're going to have company here to celebrate as well. And she has requested chicken Alfredo. And I make that using butter, heavy cream, Parmesan, garlic. It's a really simple recipe. And she really likes Caesar salad. So I'm going to whip up a Caesar salad to go along with that. And then we'll have garlic toast as well. Plus, I'm going to make those strawberry cupcakes that I mentioned in the grocery store so that we can have a little happy birthday singing and just have like a really good family birthday celebration. She's going to get a birthday celebration with her friends another time, but this weekend we're just going to keep it close, just have the family and um, celebrate with her for her birthday. Even though this came as a surprise to us, we know that with the Lord there are no surprises, that he is everywhere all the time in everything and that he knew this was going to happen and already i am seeing the lord work in this for our family there have been so many instances where we have had people who have loved us who have affirmed us who have checked on us i mean my husband has barely even started to get his resume together and he's already getting phone calls and emails and messages about jobs about job leads asking if he would consider this or apply for that so i know that it's going to be okay but i also know that sometimes god brings us out into the wilderness. You know, we may be in the wilderness for a little while. I'm trying to be okay with that because I know from reading my Bible, God does some of his best work in the wilderness. It's going to be okay. 